Hey folks, Eagle Scout with you. I uh, was responding to some requests for a walkthrough on how to install Arma 3 mods. So we're going to download a program called WinZip. Google search WinZip or go to WinZip, I believe, dot com. Uh, Google search it, then click on the uh, WinZip page. It'll take you to this, which will give you the option to download the program. Click the download if you're on Google Chrome. It'll pop up in the bottom left-hand corner. When it's complete, the download process, you'll be able to click on that box, which will take you to the download prompt. You're going to need to close a couple of pop-ups, uh, tell the program to run. You may have some antivirus or firewall that you have to say, uh, let the program through. Go through that. It'll start downloading once it's done downloading. You'll be prompted for the install portion here. You'll agree to the terms. Do a typical install. Run that. It'll start installing on your computer. And once that is complete, we'll be able to uh, close the program. after we tell the program that we're going to run it in an evaluation version instead of paying for it, which is a great little feature. So we'll uh, close this. There's our antivirus asking us if this program is safe. You'll say yes. Ignore the threat. Start installing. It'll allow it to install. We're going to close this program. Hit finished. And we're going to hit use the uh, use evaluation version. And that's that's installed at this point. We can close that. Next thing we need to do is start downloading the mods that we want to use. So I'm going to close this. It's just a pop-up that comes up when you open the WinZip program. WinZip allows us to decompress files that we download that are that are on the internet compressed. They're compressed so that they're a smaller file so that we can download them quicker. So that's the uh, program there. Close this now. We're going to go download some modifications to the game. Now in order to download these files, we need to go to a website called Armaholic. Armaholic.com. You can Google search Armaholic or put in the address. Just click the address I have below. Open Armaholic. We're going to go to Downloads, Arma 3 Files, Add-ons. Then there's a wide variety of things here. There's add-ons, uh, the page before this, there's mods, a bunch of different things, the DLCs. Uh, the very first thing we need to download, the very first file we need to download is something called CBA, which is community-based add-ons. This is basically the gateway mod that allows all other mods to work that the community has made for the game. So you can search for it. It's kind of hard to find. And the, everything that you do on here is going to be in alphabetical order. The easiest way to search for it is actually to search CBA a3. Hit search. That's going to bring up the search results. Uh, and CBA community based add ons is what it'll show. Should be about the middle of the page. You're going to click that uh, hyperlink, which will open the page for CBA. Go to the very bottom. There will be two file transfer protocol server options to download from. Uh, either one doesn't matter. They're just two different servers. If one doesn't work, click the other. Click one of the two links. It'll start downloading, bottom left hand corner on Chrome. When it's done, it'll open WinZip. Use evaluation version on WinZip. Now we have to tell the file where to extract it. So I'll bring the program up here. Um, it'll be in your Steam folder, which is on the main drive of your computer, probably your C drive. So it'll be C drive. Important note here, you gotta figure out what drive it is. I've got a bunch of drives on my computer. Mine's G. If you've only got one hard drive, yours will be the C drive. So you'll double click the C drive, which will bring you to your program files, depending on the type of operating system you're using. That's probably the higher uh, bit operating system, 64 or 86. Then you're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, which brings you into all the games you have on Steam, Arma 3, 
And if you see all these app folders, those are my mods. This is the base directory for the game, and this is where you're going to extract to. So once you've hit the ARMA 3 folder, hit extract. You've just installed CBA into the ARMA game. So once it's done uh, downloading, it's going to go to your download folder on your computer. So you open your download folder and find the WinZip file. It'll look like the one. Uh, I'll go down and find it here. I extract it to this folder as well. But it'll look like this right here. And it'll, it should say the same thing. JSRS. Double click that. It's going to open up WinZip. Use evaluation version. I'll bring the, the uh, window over. Close whatever pop-ups there are. Select the file. And then we're going to tell WinZip again where we want to install it. So we'll right click, hit extract, and then we're going to tell it where to extract to. So, as I said before, I've got a few different hard drives on my computer. Yours, if you only have one, is likely drive C, select whatever it is, go to the proper program files that Steam is uh, installed in, click Steam, Steam Apps. Common, which takes you to the game portion of Steam, the games you have. Hit ARMA3, and we're going to install it in that ARMA3 directory. Uh, and once that is complete, we've installed the game. See, so these are the things that are in that JSRS uh, folder that uh, ARMA draws from the different little files to make the uh, app work or the mod work. So once we've installed it, we'll close out. And then we have to tell the game what mods we want to run. Once you've installed all these mods that you want from Armaholic, we'll open Steam, we'll go to the library, Arma 3, hit play, then select the uh, launcher, hit play. Once you open the launcher, it's going to bring this up and click on mods. You'll have nothing here in this part of the uh, window because you don't have any mods selected yet. Hit that plus folder. Go to the directory where you installed all the games, so it's going to be your C drive or whatever drive, and your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common. So, I'll just show you here. So, it'll be your drive that everything's installed on, your program files. You can go down to Steam. Double click Steam. You go to Steam apps, which is at the bottom again. Common, select ARMA 3, and then whatever at folder, which is a separate mod, that you want the game uh, to have selectable in your launcher. So best thing is to select all of the mods that you have uh, there. You have to do it each time. You're going to go uh, hit that plus folder and add the mods into your launcher. And then when you want to go launch the game, you can select the mods that you want to have running on that uh, launcher. It's just a little checkbox. Check them all and uh, launch the game. And the, the game will have those mo mods running when you launch. That, in a nutshell, is mod installs on Steam version of Arma 3. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the comments below or get a hold of us on Google+. Thanks.